Hey guys, Ivy here again, and welcome back to Horse Girl for Life. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make this super adorable, adorable little bucket that you can actually put stuff in um, for your Schleich people, or Schleich horses, obviously. So it's so, so cute. The handle actually moves, and this is just such a cool craft to do at home. So yeah, the things that you will need for this craft are... Some scissors, um, I like to use these small ones here, but obviously big ones would work pretty well, just definitely not quite as well. So yes, some scissors or a razor knife, it doesn't really matter. Scissors are just a lot easier to work with. The next thing that you're going to need is one of these tiny paint containers that you'll get in a cute little painting project. So yeah, hopefully you guys have these. <laughs> I certainly always have these laying around. And obviously, um, if you want to keep these, you'll need a different paint container or something. Um, if you want to keep the paint inside, but this is just a really old goopy paint, so yeah. Then if you want to paint it, you are obviously going to need some paint. I am using this Golden Fluid Acrylics paint. And I just love this paint. Um, I'm using orange for this particular bucket, but for this one I use green. But obviously, guys, if you don't want to paint your bucket, then that's fine. And if you want to seal the paint in, then use some Mod Podge. Or any other acrylic sealer. You are also going to need some wire. Um, I personally like this really, really very thin wire. If you can see that, it's really thin. And it's very bendable. So, so easy to bend, but obviously if you don't have crafting wire, then you, as always, you could just use a paper clip. It's just a lot easier to do stuff with crafting wire. You're also going to need some needle nose pliers and what, um, not water clip, some needle nose pliers and some wire cutting pliers. Um, actually, my needle nose pliers have a little wire cutter thing at the end of them right there that cuts wire um but if yours don't then obviously just get a big old pair of wire cutting pliers so yeah now let me show you how to do this craft all right so first you're just gonna wash out your paint can if it has paint in it so i got as much paint as i could get out i couldn't get out that much there's some stuck around the edges but that's fine Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so, so sorry, but you're also going to need a toothpick to poke the hole in the side. So yeah, you're going to also need a toothpick. I'm so, so sorry. I did not mention that. So yeah, you're going to need one toothpick just to poke the hole in the side for the wire to go through. Okay, but before we poke the hole in the side... You're just, in the side, you're just going to want to take your scissors and cut off the top. And cut off all these little jigged or bumps on the edges like this, like this, like all those. Just cut those off. This can be very challenging to cut off actually, but it's worth it to get a smooth bucket. Whoops, <laughs> dropped it. All right, so here I got off as much as the jagged edges as I could, but as you can see, these are still very jagged. Um, if you don't care about that, I personally don't, but I, um, for this particular video, I would say you could um, rub sandpaper on the edges and that would make it um, file down better, or you could use a nail file to file it down, but I don't really care. But if you do, then just do that. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to take your toothpick. Let me move that lid out of the way. And pick a spot where there's no jagged at all. And poke a hole near the top. Whoops, my toothpick just broke. That's why you might need more than one toothpick, just because all paint cans are different. So 
Yes, um, just poke a hole near the top. You could use whatever tool that you need for this. Oh my gosh, this paint can is strong. I'm really sorry, you guys. Um, you could just cut a hole with a box knife, which is what I'm going to do. All right, so I finally got the toothpick through it. Um, so yeah, just keep poking it. And once you got the toothpick through it, then just keep going through the other side too. Oof, this is tricky. Ugh. If you can't go through the other side, if your paint can is too strong, then you could just do it again. Okay, so then just make another hole in the opposite side, like right on the opposite. Okay, so if you can see here, I have a hole right there. Oh, come on, focus, focus. I'm really sorry, guys. The camera will not focus on me. Oh, gosh. Focus, focus. Oh, there we go. So you can see there's a little hole right there. Right there. Um, so just, and then I poked one directly on the other side. These little holes these little holes are just to stick your wires through on both sides. So it depends on how thick your wire is, how big you need your holes. But tiny ones will probably do. Then go ahead and take your wire and just cut off a big chunk. Um, it doesn't really matter how big. We're going to cut it shorter later anyways. So it really doesn't matter. I'm just personally using scissors to cut this because my wire is very um, thin. So I can just use scissors, but obviously some people can't with their wire that they have. So anyways, then just take your wire. Oh my gosh, it's so thin. The camera's going to... Then you can see my little hole there. And there's a little hole. So you, you can see the little hole there, and I'm just threading my wire through the hole from the outside. Then bend what is in the inside up. So then what's in the inside is now sticking upward. Like that. Then go ahead and bend the outside wire up. And then with your needle nose pliers, just go ahead and push those two sides together. Here, I'll explain it to you in a minute. I just have to do it right now. Okay. Okay, that looks better. So that's what I did. So I just put it through the little hole and so basically you just want to put it through the hole and then secure it. It doesn't really matter how you secure it, just secure it. Okay, so yeah, then there's going to be a little pokey there, which to me does not matter, but um, if it does, then you can just bend it over like this. Okay, so then you're just going to go like this and you should have a hole directly on the other side and So then it should be through that hole. And then you pull it up. Hopefully that made sense. And then There you go. And then you have your kind of basic bucket. I like to secure the shape, fix the shape a little bit. If needed, fix the shape. But if not needed, then obviously you do not have to do this. So 
securing it and fixing the shape with my needle on this pliers right here. And Just fixing the shape. Just fix the shape. It doesn't really matter how. Just fix it. Okay. So right here, it's kind of a square. But anyways, for some reason, this one would not turn into a circle shape. Like, literally. But anyways, here, I'm just trying to fix it. <laughs> it did not work that well. So this helps a little bit. It's just not going to be a perfect circle. You're just going to have to live with it not being perfect. But anyways, um, so it's pretty good if there's any excess wire sticking up. You know, cut it off. Woof. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cut it off. Cut it off. There we go. And there you go, we have that cute little bucket and you can paint it if you want. So I'll be right back when I finish painting. So that's how you make a DIY bucket for your Schleich models. So yeah guys, make sure to join me next time and yeah, bye.